treat. And what you're going to do is, until you get a bond to create a relationship, you need everything everything you have as far as motivating that stuff. There's no reason to pay to do anything for you. There's no reason to listen to you. So you have to give her a reason to pay attention. And you have to make it fun. It's like your kindergarten teacher. <laughs> if you, I don't know what your kindergarten teacher was like, but you know, a kid's your first experience in school, so it can make or break your attitude towards you know, right. school. I had a Nazi for a no, first grade teacher and asked me up that. That's <laughs> shit. It wasn't that bad. Um, so the first thing we want to do is teach her her name. All right, and. One of the common mistakes people say in their name too much. So we want her to know that her name means something. And that's so she has extreme attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Please. All right. So here's what we're going to do. So you're going to, since you have the leash, you're going to be the one who's calling her name. And I'll, I'll show you what you do. Okay. You want to get her attention when she's not looking. Then I'm going to say, Lucy. Yes, good dog. Very good. Girl, what a good Lucy. Yes, yes. Very good dog. Very nice. Now, you know, she, when I said her name, it took her a second or so mm -hmm. to look back at me. The tendency is to say, Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. And your name, first name again is Sean. Sean. You know what I'm saying, Sean? When somebody keeps saying your name, Sean? You just <laughs> shut up. You know, yeah, yeah. And you just tune them out. So we want her name to be, whenever you say her name, I want her to go. Something good. good. Yeah, yeah. You want you want to pattern this right away. That and you don't want to say it kind of dull. You want to say Lucy. Is it's not it's not standing out again. She's down here and she her nose can pick up 1.6 parts per trillion. That's what the research says. Their their nose is they can smell stuff that you can never even dream about. So their world is scent and it's really distracting. So there are things that are distracting her that you can't even tell. You, you right. don't know they're there. So when you say Lucy! Yes! Good dog! What a good girl! I'm trying to get her to respond to one time. Okay? And if she doesn't, how long are you waiting for you? Well, you're, you're trying to... In dog training, you're trying to make it as easy as possible for them to do the right thing. Right. So when I'm trying to make it as easy as possible, I'm coming down here and saying, Lucy! Good dog. Very good. So I'd rather <laughs> try to get the behavior and wait and, and try to, you know, if, if your name again is Tyler. Tyler. Okay, Tyler's, I'm trying to get Tyler's attention. I say Tyler and he's looking over there. And I know he can hear me because I'm saying, hey, you, it's time to do your homework or something or, you know, something you don't want to do or whatever. And you're trying to, you know, he can hear me, but he's trying to ignore me. So I go, hey, talking to you. Hi. <laughs> so, you know, I'll, I'll do this. Hey. You know, tap them, you know, just try to get their attention. But the most important thing is trying to get them quickly to realize that it's a really good thing for them to respond when you call their nail. So I might even need a bigger treat. Better hurry. That's a quick better hurry. Better hurry means pee or poop, and that's better hurry. Yes, good dog, Lucy. Yay, good girl. I, I'm. What I'm doing is trying to get into her world and anything that she's doing that I like like peeing on the grass out here I'm, I'm gonna try to associate that the command with that and and reward it you know and they're like kids they're gonna get attention one way or another yeah. and the more opportunities you find to give them positive attention for doing the right thing the less attention seeking they have to do by chewing your shoes right so it's like you're just you're just like sitting at the end of your chair waiting for her to do the right thing so you can praise her. Yeah, so it's it's half it's always half full, man. Anything oh, please do something great, right? So in your voice, whenever you say her name it's it's happy sound, it gets her attention. It's Lucy I'm sorry. Lucy! Ah yes good girl, very good. Now I'm gonna try to figure out what's gonna get her attention the most. Right. If it's too high pitched, you see no, it's too much, but you know, find out what works and be consistent okay. with it. You play around like I am. Uh, but you hear that, yes! The more intensity and the more high pitch and emotion you put in the praise, 
the faster she'll learn this stuff. Now if I'm if I want her to here. Yes, good girl, what a good puppy dog. What a good dog. Yeah, you're good. What a good girl. Yeah. Oh, you're so smart. Mm -hmm. Now she's jumping on me, so I'm gonna disengage and be flat. All right. And then she comes back down here. Oh, you're such a good dog. You're doing the right thing. For jumping on you, if, as soon as she puts her paws up on you, just disengage. If you have to, just turn around. And she's going to try to get attention because she's going to, they love attention. But when she's not, <laughs> when she comes over and sits right in front of you, and she's doing the right thing, you know, engage her. Yeah. And you don't make a big deal out of it. You just. Uh -huh. She, she's going to do things to try to get your attention. Mm -hmm. And if, 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 if you give her attention for doing the wrong things, it'll be Because right. it works for her. She's basically trying to train you. And you, 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 everybody. And so you have to all be on the same page. Everybody has to be consistent. The rules are the same. They're all, you know, if, she, if she's not getting a consistent message, it'll be confusing for her. And that actually it'll be unsettling for her. You know, so that's how you can get fear in a dog, is not give them consistent boundaries and, and things get confusing and, and then they start to doubt who's anybody in, in charge. Right. And uh, that's a scary place for those little pups. So just, you know, her name. And for a guy, uh, it's, you got to get your Richard Simmons voice going. Yeah. <laughs> Lucy. Lucy! Okay, and it's eye contact. Yeah. It's, yeah. What a dog! It's good. No, it's not good. good. It's what a good dog! What a good dog! <laughs> what a good puppy! What a good puppy! I mean, I grew up in Western Pennsylvania. Still mills beer and football. The guys don't sound like that either. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about training one of these dogs, I'm telling you, you got to let that go. You know, you just, you know, you got to figure out how you get this command voice. I mean, you, you don't want to sound like that when you're telling them to do something. You don't want to say, but you know. Dad, would you do it down, please? Yeah, that's that's not a, that's not what you want to do. No, no, no. So you got to figure out that command voice here. I'm telling you to do it. It's not it's not angry. It's just kind of like um, I use like a first or second grade teacher when they're teaching vocabulary words to kids. They don't say what well, word for today is table. <laughs> they they enunciate the word for today is table, and you know it's it's serious enough to get their attention so that they're. they're Realizing that I'm, I'm learning something. In this case, I'm telling you to do something. Uh, see, the name is the most important part. Oh yeah. Yeah, sure. Molly is. Uh, Ruthie. Yes. Oh, perfect. Good puppy. Good. <laughs> what a good puppy. Good. good puppy. Now the, the the name is you want to sound happy and excited. You know, you're setting her up to, to get, draw her attention again. It's. That's the most important part. Um, once you get her attention, you know, I, I don't want to throw too many commands at you because, you know, you can get her to respond to her name. That's a big deal mm -hmm. right there. But uh, on leash, you know, you want her to basically not even think about this leash. And you don't want that leash to be, you're not going to use that to control her. You don't want to pull, you don't want to. Can I use you as my example? <laughs> 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 right. 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 No, stand over there. Stand over there. No, come back over here. Okay, that's really not good, is it? If that's what the dog feels. If you're, you, you'll build resistance. <laughs> Thank you. You'll, you'll build resistance in them, because just if I did that, that would go on for just a little bit. Soon you're going to be like, well, stop doing that. It's a natural resistance that you build. So rather than using the leash to pull, when you're walking, you're going to say, Lucy, let's go. Let's, 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 yes, I'm going to get a tree. I just dropped a tree. Oh, man. Here you go. Yes, good girl. So you can take her kibble, and, and this is really important. You get a treat, a treat bag. We have some treat bags. You should leave it without a treat bag. Yeah, it's not. Okay, good. And you're just going to be like a walking vending machine. <laughs> and, 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 and there's, there's, Two main things that you're going to use in training these dogs. Okay. There is luring, it's for you. Where I take this treat and I lure the dog down. It's like a magnet. She's going to go into it now. Okay. Uh, Look at the happy tail. 
This is how I do it down. I'll, I'll wave it out a little bit. She's trying to figure out how to get the treat. She knows it's down there, and she's not getting it. And then it starts and she's there. Yes, I down. <laughs> That's how you teach them down. That's Lori. You know, you know, I can get them to pretty much. Again, it's like a magnet. It has to be close enough to their nose. If I want them to do a stand, I'll just lower them to a stand. Yes, good girl. That's Lori. Okay. Anytime there's a treat, it has to be close enough. If it's out here, it won't work. It has to be here and moved with them, kind of in concert with them. There's also called targeting. Because these guys are they're predators, so they're drawn towards how they move. So when you're doing this, Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs>